What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again with some Into the Flames. Now, it has been a hot minute since we played any Into the Flames. Uh, a lot of changes have come to the game since we last played. I can't remember what my last video even was. I did some random gameplay. I don't think I ever actually uploaded it. Um, but the Halloween update is out now. We have multiple language support. A bunch of new languages were added. Um, Into the Flames is now being published by Playway, so it's no longer independently published by the Into the Flames development team. P uh, Playway is now publishing the game for them. Um, they've got new logos and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. Um, so along with this new update, we've got uh, uniforms. So the new uniform customization is now in. So it's not uh, not perfect in my opinion, but it's really much, much more... Uh, advanced than what it previously was. So, you know, you still got basically the same or similar head options, but you can now change your torso out. And you can see we've basically got station wear on. There's a number of gloves. You can have basically a wildfire uniform with this too. So you can have like different gear like that if you want to go that route. Um, since we're not doing any wildfires, I've just, like I said, I've basically got station wear on. You can also have just like bunkers on the pants. The only thing I don't like about this is that the bunkers look actually way better than what's in the game currently for the actual bunker gear and just so it just looks off. Um, so if I go to this, you can see the bunkers look completely different. I can change the color of these, but you can see none of them actually match the, uh, the other ones. So kind of unfortunate, but it's not a big deal. Not the end of the world. Then we can go back customization and customize the back and then uh, head lets us customize the helmet. And there's a bunch of new helmet types. So you've got uh, European style helmets. You've got uh, kind of the standard lid here. You've got the uh, the bent back brim. You've got the, uh, the flat top and then you've got the uh, bent upwards brim. I was uh, I was using this, I think. I don't normally use these. And then you can, of course, switch to the other different hel helmet colors if you want to go that route, too. And we we're just uh, using the black helmet. So, anyways, uh, yeah. I mean, no saying calls come in. We did have a call come in. Hazmat situation unknown. Fire. Um, don't really know what we're getting into. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Actually, shoot. Where is uh, where is this call at? It's over there. I don't know what station that other station is. I wish these stations were labeled. I can't remember which stations are which. Looks like we picked right. I don't know if this is the one with the hazmat truck or not. I'm guessing probably not. So we need a uh, we need hazmat. I think station four has hazmat. We got uh, squad. We've got the tiller. We've got a. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, that's the one we want. Pretty long drive here. And I'm stuck in the map. Oh, man. I was trying to shut the map and it wasn't working. That doesn't look right. Oh, man, we're all over the road. Yeah, this thing's unfinished, but I do think it's a pretty cool looking apparatus, so we're gonna go ahead and take this out. I think this is the uh, hazmat one. You can see some of the uh, Halloween decorations there. Rotting hand and some pumpkins and stuff. Nothing too crazy so far. No zombie apocalypse or anything. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that looks like a uh, hazmat situation to me. Um. Yeah, we're gonna want this, and we're gonna want this out. All right, so this looks like it's our uh, culprit here. At least one of our culprits. There's a, a lot of hazardous gas there, so I'm not really 100% certain um, how much we're actually looking at here. All right. So it says we're under control here, but... I'm not exactly sure of that. There's still a lot of uh, hazardous gas here, so we're going to actually go back in and uh, see if we can find anything. Holy cow, we can't see anything. Oh, there we go. It's cleared. All right, let's go ahead and uh, decontaminate. And we'll go ahead and pack up the uh, tent here. We'll switch back to our station gear, too. All right, so we'll uh, return to quarters at station four. And I uh, guess we'll wait for the next call unless we get a call in before then. So I do believe that the next thing they're looking at doing is overhauling the uh, forest firefighting stuff. So that's going to be getting a bunch of new assets and changes and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. The game gets, uh, it's getting more and more stuff. You know, it's getting better and better all the time. Uh, I think it's kind of getting to the point because I know they, they said they want to have like a full release. I think by basically by the end of this year, or early next year, and be out of uh, early access is that I think they need to start needing to look at like polishing and stuff like that if they can. There's just feels like there's um, still feels very work in progress. Like you've got these like floating headlights and like missing dashboards and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I, I don't know. Just making some of the animations and stuff feel a little bit better and everything at this point, I think, is what I'd like to see them start switching focus to after the forest update. I mean, there, there's so many things you can do with a, a firefighting and rescue game and stuff like that. I mean, there's a lot of routes you can take as far as um, what sort of rescues and stuff you're doing. You know, you can do like the high rise and technical rescues, which, you know, Merge NYC is kind of doing something with that here now, too. Um, that's right. We're from the other side here. Threw myself off because that door was open. Yeah, room on fire here. We're not going to want this uh, apparatus to fight it. We might not even want to be at this station anyways. So we're still going to go ahead and park, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at um, that call and see what's going on with it. Uh, oh, there we go. I was going to say... That's not right, uniform. Where is this call? All the way down there, huh? So that looks like uh, either Station 1 or 2 is probably the best to respond from. I'm going to say probably Station 2. Go here, we'll switch uh, into our bunker gear.
Let's take a left. Fall it down through the intersection, then just keep going. Maybe, if we can go, what's going on here? We uh, can't go past 10 miles an hour in this thing for some reason. Let's try to get out and then get back in, I guess. See if that fixes it. There we go. Wasn't shifting gears for some reason there. I guess it may have something to do with me pulling up the map. Bugged it out, I guess, potentially. Anyways. And uh, coming up on the call here now. All right, let's take a look at what's going on. I did see there's a gas tank. There's obviously a lot of smoke coming out here. Maybe you got fire around the building. Well, we didn't want that open quite yet. I just wanted to check to see if it was locked or not. Well, we know the one side's definitely not locked. So what we're going to do is we're going to find ourselves a hydrant. And we're going to lay ourselves a supply line. If I can find a hydrant. Looks like there's one at the entrance to the uh, subdivision here. I'll have to uh, try and hurry up here. Can't remember. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, I couldn't remember if I could get a supply line from the back or not. All right, so hopefully the um, building will be accessible from the front here. Nope. Oh. Messing around with the hose controls there. I feel like the hose drop got switched to a key that I didn't realize it was switched to. Wow, it is super dark in here. Just the way I like it. I actually really like that, it's this dark. It's awesome. Why'd you switch to fog pattern? Why did you drop? What is going on here? I didn't. I was just pushing down the mouse and he's randomly dropped the hose. He just dropped it again. What the heck is going on? Not pushing any keys. being burned. I 
and switch back to fog. I gotta look at the controls here. See what's going on. It's gotta be there's gotta be some control changes or something that's causing that to happen. That door is locked. Um, I need that. Actually, do want to drop that, even though that wasn't me that dropped it by choice. I did want to actually get rid of it here, so we're going to go ahead and uh, head out here and grab a halligan. Kind of actually want to grab the sledgehammer. Don't really get to use that a whole lot. And vault through, because why not? And open. Yeah, close enough. You, get back here. Quit doing whatever it is you're doing. Quit leaving my hands. It's like W key is switching it. If I, like, double tapping W or something, like, scoot forward. All right, let's, uh, that was weird. And seeing victims, let's go ahead and uh, vent the house. Grab a fan, get rid of our uh, mask here. Um, all right, tools, fan. They also have like high rise bundles and stuff like that now, which is pretty cool. I don't know if we'll get to show any of that off. I'm guessing probably won't be able to, but uh, maybe we'll get lucky. the grass in here it's gonna be the grass pretty sure all we have to do is try to light the house the smoke's definitely looking a lot less thick in here still pretty thick in a few spots oh we're losing life because we don't have our mask on get out of there It's just as taking a lot longer than it normally does. Why can't I pick this up? I'm gonna die trying to pick it up. Alright, I hate to... Oh, interesting. Oh, what the heck? What? I just switched into like a free cam mode or something. That was weird. I just switched to my uh, other equipment. I don't remember that being uh, a thing. Or displaying it, at least the way it did. We gotta go into the controls here though. I gotta see what's going on with us dropping this uh, hose and then... Why would the drop hose be on S? Like that's a standard movement key. That's so stupid. Um, what did I have this on before? I'll put, like, control D for control drop, I guess. Um, then the other thing is swap tool. Okay. 
We need to see the spray pattern though. Yeah, and that's on W. Why would they be on W? That's so bad. Like, Control W is one thing. I can't. Uh, I can't even do combination things. That's stupid. Why is that still not a thing? Okay. Um, I think anything's on the F key, so we'll do F1 and F2. Dave. Really heavily judging in the flames right now. I know those weren't bound to that before from the last time I played. Those controls had to have been updated. Still super smoky in here. Why is there so much smoke? Why is it not clearing out? Uh, I guess we just had to do that. I mean, that's unfortunate. I don't know why we can't pick up our, uh, fan either. There we go. I just had to crouch down for it. So many questions, so few answers, and I don't think we're going to get the answers today. Uh, I know we only did two calls, guys, but... We're already at 20 minutes, 21 minutes. I don't think we have time to do another call, unfortunately. So we're going to go ahead and call the calls here, if you will. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Anyways, if you guys haven't already, check out the new Into the Flames update, the Halloween update. Uh, new language support for a whole bunch of new languages, new uniforms, new apparatus since the last time we played. Just tons and tons and tons of new stuff. Obviously some bugs as well. Uh, some questionable you know controller choices but overall it's a pretty awesome update most of the stuff in there that i was having issues with is fairly small stuff um other than that guys take it easy i'll see you all in the next one